Welcome back to United Tradesman Academy. Hey guys, look, let me first start off this video by saying thank y'all to everybody for getting this channel to where it is. I never thought that uh, people would be this interested in, you know, what electricians do or what uh, HVAC technician does. You know, um, I've been doing this for almost 20 years, so almost half of my life. And um, to be able to share something that you've been doing for almost half your life and for other people to be interested in it, you know, it just goes to show that um, there's an interest level in what we do. You know, trades are in demand. People are constantly trying to get into trades. Um, and actually one of my fellow subscribers, he reached out to me and said, hey, can you give a video on your uh, Milwaukee Packout system? What you have stored, how you store it? And let me start off by saying this too, because for someone that doesn't have a lot of space, this has made my van life much easier. Um, Cause I used to have a big game box in here. I had a big full size game box from, the, from that wall to this door and it came to about right here. I had a big game box in here, you know, for one thing, because I was afraid people would uh, steal my tools. And also too, um, I wanted my stuff in a central location. I didn't want just stuff. You see people vans and they just have tools everywhere. You know, it just looks like a complete mess. So, um, but the reason why I went with the Milwaukee Packout system is because um, it allows me to have my stuff over here going up and not taking up and not taking up a lot of floor space and also too this uh milwaukee pack out set back here it allows me to have it everything in one location and i can build up and still not take up a lot of floor space all right so let's get started with this so first off i just got you know uh parts and pieces in here screws b caps let's see if i can do this without spilling it so just big blue B caps, washers, stainless steel screws, self tapping screws. I got some tap cons in here. Uh, some 632, 832s, keep talking bolts, nuts and bolts, Wagos. I got regular B caps over here and I keep anchors over here and uh, some quarter inch bolts and a few lock rings. Normally this thing is pretty stocked up you know, but um, it's not stocked up right now. So, once again, when you are in the service industry and you're going into these buildings, you know, going into these offices, it's best to try and have your stuff uh, minimized as possible. So if I just need to carry this in up on the roof, I can tie a rope to it and rope it up. Simple as that, you know, so keep moving I set that up there for right now so now this next piece is the actual shelves and man I tell you this has made it a lot easier too for a lot of different reasons I got I got so much I got I have such a diverse uh, platform in here that let me just show you for all those little things for all those little uh, small hand size you know, so if you can fit in your hand, you know, the palm of your hand, this is, this works wonders. So let me move forward here. Okay. Hope that's not too close. Okay. So first off what we have in here is, so you can see how we have some, like I just keep face taping here. Some more face tape meter lugs all this stuff can fit in the palm of your hand so if you look at these compartments are like the size of your hand so so that you would normally you could put in your pocket let's keep some of these in here because like i do a mixture of commercial and residential so i have commercial stuff and residential stuff in here uh, splice butt splice crown clamp So here, it's not too much to see in here, but you know, I keep wire numbers, meter ear, valve core remover for HVAC. That's a spare one because I got another one. Actually, this lug needs to be in here. Throw that right there. 
Oh, you know what? No, that goes with that new one right there. Yeah, so I'll keep that to keep that together. Okay, so top part here. Uh, I just keep just you know the saws off blades. Manual to my uh, vacuum pump. Some no locks. Some batteries. Just some miscellaneous stuff up here, you know. All right, so bear with me here. Let me move my camera back over here. All right, so next one, this one right here is the one uh, that's on the wheels. I'm not gonna uh, move this because I got it strapped down right now. So in the top, I just keep some radios. If I got, if I'm on the roof or from another part of the building, I got another guy with me. We can communicate. Uh, tap, tap tools, uh, unit bits, just a little miscellaneous stuff at the top right here. Stuff I can easily grab. So down in here is where I keep my um, power tools and my battery. So just regular DeWalt set, battery charger. my impact down in here Milwaukee charger you know extra bits batteries you know so like I said if I'm if I, if I gotta do a, a job and um, I gotta carry my tools in I don't have to carry my stuff in one by one you know and plus two it's good to what it's good that um I can have my stuff in a box to where other people can't see what you got because they will steal your stuff. All right, guys, so next. Next is gonna be this uh, pack out over here. Now, I don't, one of these is not gonna have anything in it. And maybe this one. So this was completely empty. So the next one I think is gonna have my vacuum pump. So on this set right here. So on this set right here, I just keep my um This is my wireless vacuum gauge, a fill piece. This is my vacuum pump. So, like I said, once again, if I'm going on a roof and I need to take some HVAC stuff up to, uh, you know, pull a vacuum on a unit or what have you, this allows me to have all my vacuum stuff in one place. Not only that, I can tie my rope on here and rope it up. I can pull it up. So this is why I like to pack out so much. So this one's definitely not full. It was full before, but it's not full anymore. So I just keep PVC. And <laughs> that's all I have in this one for right now. But still great though. Still great setup. Alright guys. Last one. I keep my yellow jacket recovery recovery unit in here for recovery and refrigerant. So this is big enough, like I said, to where I can have everything. Ah, man. Woo, hit my... Hit my knee there. Mm. A 
locks it back in. So what I was saying was, what I was saying, you see, I was able to keep all these tools just in this corner in this little cranny right here so when you're a technician you got to have a lot of tools there's no way around it there's no going back home to get a band saw there's no going back home to get a hammer drill you know you can have all your stuff in multiple uh storage cases with the milwaukee pack out set like i said before i had a big game box in here you know and uh it actually took me a few days to figure out how I was gonna set this up because I'm an electrician by trade, but once I started doing HVAC, I needed to have more space. And I couldn't go back home to get a recovery unit. I couldn't go back home to get a vacuum pump. So, you know, um, yeah, that's how I keep my uh, Milwaukee pack out stuff stored. Um, I know some people, they got better pack out systems you know, but this works best for my little van right here, you know, and it works best for me. Um, I don't have to go uh, through a lot of headache to get my tools out. You know, most thing I got to get out is my pack out set, get my other hand tools, get my material, and we get to work, you know. So, um, otherwise, you may, otherwise to carry this much, to be able to carry all this stuff into a building, you're going to have to have a, a cart, and maybe two carts, you know. So, but this stuff has wheels, it locks together. So from my perspective, that's an advantage. So guys, look, um, once again, thank y'all for the subscribers. Hey, let me give a shout out to my boy, Walter, with WWHVAC. Go check out his YouTube channel. Uh, it's WWHVAC. And let me shout out to my boy, Tito, Tito Vlogs. Uh, he's an HVAC tech too, man. Doing big things on his channel. Thank you for the comment, bro. Uh, we got to do uh, a live stream with something together, man. Tell your story. I can tell my story on your, on your platform, but look, I ain't gonna go too too long on this video. I just wanted to show y'all a quick setup, how I keep my stuff going. And now uh, look, we'll see y'all next time back at United Chaseman Academy.